In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your own instance of an open source large language model as an API. Now, for those of you who have used ChatGPT, uh, you'd know that the performance is you know, pretty great. Um, but there are many cases where you might uh, rather just deploy your own version of an open source large language model. Um, and this could be because of data privacy issues and also specific industry use cases for which um, open source large language models might uh, perform better. Um, so in this tutorial, I'm going to walk through one such large language model, which is open, um, called Dolly. Now, Dolly was released by uh, Databricks a couple of months back. Um, and as you can see in this blog, they state that um, it's the world's first uh, truly open sourced instruction fine-tuned large language model. And so in order to deploy it, we're going to be looking at Hugging Face, where this model is hosted. And in fact, Hugging Face is a great source where a lot of open source large language models are hosted. Um, and then we're going to be deploying this in AWS, um, specifically using SageMaker. Um, so if you know what Amazon SageMaker is, uh, well, basically, you know, even if you don't know, it's OK. But Amazon SageMaker is um, a cloud-based machine learning platform. And it's great for end-to-end -end ML solutions hosted on the cloud. Um, so it's quite easy. You can just you know, click on Deploy here um, and uh, click on this. And you'll see that you know, there's, there's a bunch of code. Um, and then what you need to do is go to AWS SageMaker. Here I've already created a notebook of this particular instance type. Um, but it's fairly easy uh, to create a notebook. And then if you go in here, um, you'll basically you know, see the code that I've written. Where you see, um, let's go here. Um, so this is basically you know, deploying this Dolly V2 7 billion parameter model. Um, and then there is a few parameters that I've changed. One of them is the instance type. Um, so if you go back here, you'll see that the in instance type here is, you know, this ml.g5.2x large, which is basically a GPU. Um, but uh, I did not have access in my SageMaker, uh, in my AWS, to this type of model. So I had to use this other model, which, you know, it's the same thing, but it's just like, um, I believe it's an older type of uh, um, CPU. Um, and then I changed the container start up, start up health checkout uh, timeout to 3,600 seconds so that it doesn't uh, time out. So now basically, you know, you can run this entire code um, and it'll take a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to pause the video right now and then resume once this is done. All right, so now it looks like it's done deploying the endpoint. So what we need to do is we need to go back to the Amazon SageMaker console. Um, and then when we go to inference, we will see, when we click endpoints, we'll see this model right here. Right. So you see um, this endpoint has been created, and it is currently in service. Next, what we need to do um, is we need to go to this AWS console and then click on Lambda to create uh, a serverless Lambda function. All right, so now we go to create function. Um, I'll just call it um, Hugging Face uh, LLM. Um, and then for the runtime, I will choose um, Python, um, the same, just, just to be safe. Is there any Python version that's mentioned here? Not really, so I'm just going to um, just the default Python 3.10. Um, I'm going to use an existing role here that I've used before. And then create function. OK. Um, so the function is important here. And the function basically is the one that calls the endpoint. Um, so I'm going to basically copy this function that I have, uh, paste it here. Um, and then I'm going to go to configuration. 
add the endpoint name here. And for the value, I'm just going to choose the one, the name here. So I'll copy that, paste here, and then save. <clears throat> OK, what else do we need? Um, general in, so in the general configuration, I'm going to edit this timeout to, um, to five minutes or you know, three minutes, just to, just to be safe so that it doesn't uh, time out. And then I'm going to go to test. So for testing, let's basically look at the format. So there's inputs. Um, so I'm just going to copy this and paste it here, format JSON. I'm just going to call this as trial. Remove the comma. Um, then test. Okay, right. So I this is a common <laughs> mistake. I didn't um, uh, deploy this. So you need to deploy it. Okay, and now we can test it again. Succeeded. My name is Julian, and I like to write about software, hardware, blah blah blah. Okay, great. Um, so now what we can do is, um, now we need to create the final API gateway. To connect and to call and uh, the Lambda function. So I'm going to build a REST API. REST API, a new API. Let's see, I already created a few of them. Jeff.llm. All right. So in the actions, I am going to um, create a method. It's going to be a post method. All right. So, and of course, integrating with the Lambda function. Um, I'm going to save it. Okay. Let's see. Now I am going to deploy this. Just any stage name you can call it, you know. Let's see if we want to call it a production, right? Um, let's call it production. And save changes. Um, make sure to copy this. URL here, um, and then we can save it as yeah, this URL right here. Um, so this is just the URLs here. There's a custom object. I'm just going to give this, um, you know, hello. Uh, I'm going to delete all of this stuff here, not to confuse us. Um, and that way, let's see, you know, get, okay. So you have not imported the requests package, um, and let's see. Okay, great. Hello, I'm a new user to the site, and I'm looking for some advice. Um, I'm single. No, I'm not, but you know, that's what's here. Okay, great. So now we can use this the same way we would use any other um, chat completion API. Um, I'm not going to get into details about performance um, and cost and latency in this video, but I'll do that in some other videos. Um, so watch out for that. All right, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this and if you found this was useful, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon.